um, when I have a possibility when I go up, I, and I, I could make a, a thing that could fly a flying car, the first flying car. Yeah. It's possible because everybody's quitting on stuff they think is not real. Oh. But it is real. You just have to set your mind to it. With my artistic brain mm -hmm. and, and all the stuff, I gotta paint it, shape it. Plus, do you know that planes? Mm -hmm. What makes the plane fly? I don't know. Engines. How, the engine, right? Yeah. You make a little, little one and put it in a car. And, and make wings on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Duh! I was always writing, 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 writing. So I wanted a career where I could be writing, but writing for myself and making money. But during the Christmas of 2012, my, my grand uncle, who's Bill Swan, he's a Canadian children's author, and he lives in Curtis. He asked me to write a book about my autism. And I decided, okay, I will. And we were at a family reunion when he asked me to do so, so everybody was excited about it. And so for the past, since 2012 to now, we've been working on it. Well, our book is about um, my life since I was since I was admitted to the hospital, from where I for from to where I am now. So it tells the stories of me being a teenager and as a kid and how I became the author that I am now. Because back back when I was five years old, they said Tyler will never be learn how would never learn how to read or write. He just can't stay focused. He would, this child doesn't have a future. This child would never learn how to read or write. And so by now, I've written four fantasy novels of my own, of my own original work, and this and some short stories, and most of them are over two, over over two hundred and fifty pages. I get a runner's high when I'm writing. When when I'm writing something and I know that I'm confident about it, I sit down, and time just passes by. I could write a chapter within a within an evening. I mean, within thirty minutes. And I feel this feeling of exercise when you get exercise and when you lift weights. And then I read it over and I say, man, did I write this? And I go, wow. <laughs> After I dropped out of college, I sat down at my computer and I said, what am I going to do? And so I scratched my head and I felt, oh no, what am I going to do? Because I quit my job. I, I quit college. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And then, and then all of a sudden I saw an image in my head, a visual image. Of a, of a young king, kind of like my age, a king with red armor with a swan on his uh, chest, with a shield, and then he decapitates a demon. And then I didn't, and that's the only thing I thought about. And, and that's, like, it, it was only that image. Quick, 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 15 second image in my head. I sat down and wrote, and, 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 and just from that image, I wrote three pages of an original work, which is now a finished book, which I'm, which I'm planning to get out. <laughs> and I, and and, I, and so and so I became kind of panicky after, and I said, "Mom, mom." And she came in and she said, "Oh my God!" Like, I wrote that, and she said, "No, you didn't. Are you sure you wrote that? Are you sure that that's? Are you sure? Are you sure that you didn't just copy it, copy it from somewhere?" I said, "No, I wrote it." So I immediately sent all my work to my uncle, and he said, "This is amazing, Tyler." He was amazed by it, and so I'm so I'm trying to get the autism book out there, so I can get my other works out there, such as the Silent King. I called it the Silent King because he's an autistic king back in the medieval ages that can't speak. So he has to, so he has to lead his kingdom against an evil king that has overrun his kingdom when he was a kid. I mean, I mean w when he was a baby. Where do you want to be? What what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> That's a big question. I wanted to be George Lucas. I wanted to be George Lucas mixed with Stan Lee. I wanted to be a visionary that has changed the lives of many people and I wanted people to look up to me. And I wanted people that have autistic children to, I wanted those parents to say that that kid could, could be me. I'm not trying to be, not, not out of egotism, but because of how much I will try to accomplish. So I want to, because I realized that there are a lot of people like me and if I can be that symbol, then maybe other people can reach their dreams easier.